uh, now we're going to assemble a two-inch JDC pulling tool. So I'll start with the skirt, bottom end down, threaded end up. We're going to install the dog. Push the dog on over the threads and slide it down until it's aligned with the slots. And then give a little tap so it goes on there. Slides into place. We'll make sure they move nice and free like that so that it's not jammed up. Then we'll install the pawls. There's a little grease on your screwdriver. Set your pawl on there. Slide it in the bottom end. Line it up with the hole in the dog and the skirt. And I use a magnet to hold them on. Some people use heavy grease. I like using a magnet because they don't typically fall off. Turn your tool, install the next one. Throw a magnet on it. Install your third one. There you have it. Right there. Have your core, turn up, thread it facing down. Line it up, careful not to knock any of your paws out, and drop it into place. Now remove your magnets, so they're not sticking to everything that you're dealing with. Then I like to assemble the whole tool without the dog spring on, so I can function test it before I do the final assembly. So I use a 5 16 punch, install the core spring, put a little grease on the threads for your core nut. Take the core nut, put it on top. I just use the weight of my body to collapse that spring and install the core nut onto the core. When, once it's started, you can grab the core nut in the vise, and thread it in the rest of the way. The core nut is held on by the thread pressure so it doesn't have to be over torqued and there's also a set screw that holds it on. So install the set screw. You want to make sure that the set screw you install is not too long so it uh, binds on the top sub when you uh, install it. The set screw should be torqued in. Snug, not over tight. Grease on the threads. Install your top sub. Don't tighten it at this point because we're going to function test and make sure that the dogs are released properly. This spring has got quite a bit of tension in it. So I don't install the fish neck until after I've Double check this to make sure it's going to work. Pull that out. Reach inside. Make sure you feel that your dogs have retracted all the way. Grab a fish neck. Double check it. It slides in and out freely. Then I will use this core retractor tool to pull the core back up and install the shear pin. Turn the core until the shear fin holes lined up with the skirt and the core. Check it with your punch that you had earlier that it slides in easy. Install your brass pin. You can remove your core retractor. Thread your skirt from your top sub. This time we'll add more grease, which I didn't add earlier because if it didn't work, I didn't want to get all messy. Install your dog spring. Place your skirt 
in the vise and clamp on the three sides that are not the dogs just to ensure you're not pinching your dogs. Using a wrench, tighten your top sub on. You can function test it once more to see if it'll release by hand. Install your fish neck in there. It's a nice little latch. To release it, pull down on your dogs, grip it around the part where your paws are, pull it back to release that spring tension, and away you go. Tools ready for use. When running it in the hole, you'll tighten it up a little tighter than I did there, but for this demonstration, that's good enough.